Hi everybody, I'm David Zeiser. And boy, do we have a treat for all you guys and girls today. A couple of weeks ago, I called up my cousin whose daughter was being married today, and I asked them if they wouldn't mind if we invited Kelby Training to come on the wedding with us. And they were very gracious to oblige and say, sure, come on down. So what's going to happen today is I'm going to take all you guys and girls with us to my cousin's daughter's wedding. And the cool thing about the wedding is it's like the perfect day for a wedding. We have fantastic weather. It's about 80 degrees. We have blue sky, white puffy clouds. We're going to one of the prettiest churches in the area. We're going down to Twin Oaks Country Club, which is a great, great place uh, for wedding receptions. We're also going to be using the golf grounds for some location shooting. We're also going to be going to one of the bride and groom's special places that's special to the both of them, which is this beautiful overlook showing the Ohio River Valley. In one direction, we see downtown Cincinnati in the distance. And in the other direction, we see the winding Ohio River. So we have all these great locations that, will come, that are going to come together with our shoot here today. You're actually going to see me from literally from start to end to photograph the entire wedding. From walking into the, bride and, uh, walking into the bride's house, meeting with them, seeing uh, the bride come down the stairs, seeing her mom and dad and everything, greeting her and so forth. You're going to see all the bits and pieces of what I try to cover when I'm shooting a wedding. We're going to move from there then. We're going to go to the special location overlooking the Ohio River Valley and then down to Twin Oaks, back to the church, back to Twin Oaks where the reception takes place. And we're going to wrap everything with a couple cool shots at the very end of the day. So it should be a kick. It should be something completely new, something nobody's ever done before. So uh, you guys and girls are the first to see it. So why don't we go ahead and pack the bags in the car and let's head on out. All right, we got the trunk loaded and ready to go here. Just a couple quick things. You've seen a lot of these things on my other Kelby training videos. We got my good old uh, quantum flash right here. I'm gonna use a more powerful battery pack because we're gonna be doing a lot of shooting all day long, about 12 hours today. We've got the, the big heavy bag here in the back of the trunk is actually the light bag that we'll carry in with us and we'll set up room lights. You'll see how that's set up at the wedding reception. My camera bag is just this very, very small bag. It's on the rollers. Everything is inside the camera bag here. We've got uh, Canon 5D Mark II, got the Canon 50D I've been shooting with, a couple of flashes, uh, the Canon 580EX2 and a backup flash in here and all the other different lenses. I've got a couple other things in here because of the sun going in and out. I've got actually a big translucent panel. It's about four feet big. You actually see me be, uh, probably be using this at some point today. We got a couple other things. I got a reflector just sitting right here that we'll go ahead and we'll pull out. Maybe, maybe not, but it's always in my bag and ready to go. And on my low pro case, it just fits on the outside. Another thing we've been, uh, I love my new Zumbrella. What it is, it's, it's an umbrella that just simply goes from 18 inches up to 42 inches in no time at all. Shoot through, does a great job. You'll see me using this a lot today, but I like that it's just so portable too. Uh, what else is in here? Uh, I got the cards, the cards are all cleared, the cameras are all time synced. Nicholas, my one assistant, who you'll see on camera here in just a bit. I also have his bag of camera gear also time synced as well. I've got the whole range of lenses in here from the 8mm fisheye, which I'll use probably more on the 50D than the 5D because I like it better on the 50D because it crops in just a little bit more. Uh, then I've got a 10 to 22 millimeter I also use on the 50D. I got a 12 to 24 millimeter Sigma that I use on the 5D, super duper wide angle lens. Uh, I've got my 70 to 200 28 in here. I've got a 70 to 300 millimeter DO optics, another image stabilized Canon lens. And uh, just uh, I think that's pretty much about it. I'm shooting with the Canon 5D Mark II. I'm shooting a 12 to 24 millimeter lens on that. And on the, uh, the 50D, I've been playing around with the new 18 to 200, which I love. It's just a candid, a candid camera lens. You know, the images in the wedding album are not going to be all that big. You know, they're 4x5, 5x7, best 8x10. And that's just a great candid lens, what I call the reach out and touch somebody candids that I like to get. And you'll see a lot of those in our shoot that will be on here today. I think that pretty well wraps it up. Uh, of course, cards are all uh, wiped and formatted, ready to go. Cameras are all time sync, ready to go. Batteries are all charged, ready to go. We got backup uh, chargers and batteries sitting in the bag here. This is also just kind of our grab all bag right over here. It has extra chargers in it. It's got my uh, little Z-Ray light. You'll be seeing me use this later on tonight. This is kind of fun for doing detail shots. Uh, I just love it for pointing in the detail shots. And again, I've talked about it on some of my other Kelby training videos, 2800 Kelvin light. So when I am shooting it, I've got the camera set to 2800 Kelvin. What else is in here? Oh, 
these little guys right here, these little LED flashlights. Now I got about four of them in here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these for a very special shot at the end of the evening. So yes, you gotta stay tuned for this entire video to see what I'm gonna be using these little LEDs for, but makes a favorite photograph for the brides and grooms. You're gonna like seeing that too. So um, anyway, I've gotta catch up with my assistants, Nicholas and Mark, and they'll be joining us here in just a couple seconds once we get everything in the car ready to go. Let me just tell you, I'm working with, Nicholas is kind of my ace number one assistant. He's a peripheral shooter. He's got another set of gear too that he runs with. It's my gear, but he's gonna run with it, be shooting it. He's also my second pair of hands when we're going ahead and we're, we're trying to get the bride's gowns fixed on the, you know, when, we're, when we are running and gunning, I'm not gonna be the guy running back and forth and back and forth fixing that dress. Nicholas is gonna be my extra pair of hands. When he's not helping with that, then he's gonna be just doing peripheral shooting for me as well. Mark is pretty much kind of the gear handler. He's the one holding the flash for me, getting that in position. He knows where that needs to be. And he's also moving around a lot of the gear as well for me. So he's my gear guy, he's my light guy. He's my guardian angel when it comes to the exposures. Nicholas, peripheral shooter, and also the guy helping make the whole uh, session go very, very quickly. You're gonna probably find that we are gonna get running behind on today's shoot. And running behind means that we have to make up time along the way. So you'll see me kind of calling out when we're behind, when we're going to be caught up, what we need to do to get from one place to the other. It's kind of fun. As I say, it's a complete shoot from start to finish. So here it is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to go to about midnight tonight. And uh, it, it'll be a kick. It'll just be a kick. And you'll see firsthand exactly how we put it together.